transfer to 530138. What would we just do? The Republican Party just made a generous donation to the Black Panthers. Far out. Right on. Who's next? Let's see. Oh. Richard Nixon's personal checking account is in here. Oh, this is a challenge. Marty, we have to find somebody truly worthy to give his money to. How about... The National Association of Legalized Marijuana. Perfect. How much should he give? He's a generous man. I'd say all he's got. Got him, Marty. You are sure we will not get into trouble for this? That's me. Trust me. Pause it. The phone company has too much money. Oh, good one. Uh, they're corrupt. Result? The system perpetuates itself at the expense of the people. Conclusion? Mom Bell needs to donate some money. How are we going to change the world, Marty? I just wish we could get course credit for this. Gosh! You got it. You want some food? Loser goes. I never lose. Oh. Pepperoni pizza, please. Shaken, not stirred. Power to the people, cause. Power to the people, Marty. One cannot trust anybody these days. Cause and position on the fire escape. Mother was in the cable vault. Whistler is reading. We're up! With the lobby. Still just the one guard. Okay, Mother, try the ones coming off the blue trunk. Nope. 
I've heard the ones coming off the white truck, but at least don't sound right. You even got photos of the guy leaving the embassy through the back service entrance. Hey, Crease, you on? Yeah, I'm on. Are you still on the CIA in 72? Yeah, why? Did you know the deputy director of planning was down in Managua, Nicaragua the day before the earthquake? Now what are you saying? The CIA caused the Managua earthquake? Well, I can't prove it, but... I can't talk to them. Dad. Hold on, Mother. Go back one. Bingo! Securing bridge clips. Preparing to sever master alarm circuit. Five. Four. Nice bank. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through just to get a safe deposit box. Yeah, I got a fire at Centurion Bank. Yeah, we got the alarm. Uh, are there any secondary indications? Smoke or flames? Sm uh, no. It's probably a false alarm. We've been getting them in your area all night. Uh, see if it resets. Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> Yes, the alarm is always the green one. Good girl. Hey man, I'm not waiting longer. I'm calling the fire. Oh, it uh, stopped. Sorry. Hey, no problem. And uh, son, sir. Good work. All yours, bitch. So, how much do you want? Eighty thousand, ninety thousand, one hundred thousand. Okay. May I ask why you're closing your account with us today, sir? Well, I just had this weird feeling that my money wasn't safe here anymore. Communication lines are vulnerable. 
fire exits need to be monitored. Your rent-a-cops are a tad under-trained. Outside of that, everything seems to be just fine. You'll be giving our full report and analysis in a few days. But first, who's got my check? So, people hire you to break into their places? To make sure no one can break into their places? It's a living. Not a very good one. Is that him? Oh, yeah. That's him. He's got the report from the bank, Steve. I'm going to type it up later. You are. We haven't paid the typist since January, so it's either me or Whistler. Better Whistler. We've got customers. Shoes? Expensive. We're busy, guys. Mr. Bishop. Dick Gordon. Hi. Buddy Wallace. Hi. We've heard a lot of great things about you. They're all true. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Uh, gentlemen, why don't we go to the conference room? You can tell us how we can help you. Good. Okay. Thank you. So, here, uh... Before we begin, uh, there's something we'd like to clear up. Most firms of this type are staffed with ex-law enforcement types, but, but your team, it's, uh... I know, kind of different. Yes, you are. Darren Rascal, also known as Mother. 18 months at Dannemar for breaking and entering. Yeah, he was framed. He's got the best hands in the business. Carl Arbogast. Age 19, caught breaking into the Oakland City School District computer to change his grades. I know. We're the ones who caught him. Erwin Emery, also known as Whistler. Yeah, yeah, I know. He had some little problem with the phone company. 62 counts. Okay, you want law enforcement? How about Donald Kreese, 22-year veteran of the CIA? Terminated in 1987. Why was that? I don't know. I think maybe a personality conflict. Who are you guys? Relax, Marty. You have to check on these things. It's just everybody on your team has had some sort of problem in their past. And then there's Martin Bishop. He doesn't seem to have a past. Uh, sorry to waste your time, gentlemen. I don't work for the government. We know. National Security Agency. Oh. You're the guys I hear breathing on the other end of my phone. No, that's the FBI. We're not chartered for domestic surveillance. Oh, I see. You just overthrow governments, set up friendly dictators. No, that's the CIA. We protect our government's communications. We try to break the other fellow's codes. We're the good guys, Marty. Gee, I can't tell you what a relief that is, Dick. All right, that's enough. Let's go. Change my calls at this number. Mr. Bryce.
Blackwater helped me out. The government's taking away my home. Talk to him. Some coffee or something? No. Buddy, is that Janik's file? Yeah. Janik's file. This is a mathematician named Dr. Gunter Janik. Works at a think tank called the Coolidge Institute. Specializes in large number theory, prime numbers, factoring, cryptography. Very good. Last month, the good doctor gets a grant. $380,000. Way out of profile for a guy like that. It's our job to be curious, so we trace the money. Guess where it comes from? I know you're out of here, say Russia. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a break. We won, they lost, you know. It's been in a couple of people. Yeah, we still spy on them, they still spy on us. We intercepted the facts last week. Yeah. It's making some kind of box. A little black box. The project's called SeaTech Astronomy. We don't know what SeaTech stands for. Security technology. Sensor techniques, who knows? Anyway, it may be nothing or it may be something. We need to know. Mm. And your job is to find that little black box. Let us take a look at it. Yeah. No way. Sorry, Marty. We don't have a lot of choice here. Do it yourself. We can't. Why not? We're, allowed, we're not allowed to equip to do this kind of operation. Well, then get the FBI. Yeah, right. FBI. The FBI can't work for us without approval from a congressional oversight committee. We don't have the time. So why me? Frankly, because yeah, we... Frankly. Marty, sit down, please. Frankly, because it's kind of illegal. You've managed to stay underground for more than 20 years. That tells us you know how not to get caught. We know you can keep your mouth shut. Job pays 175000 payable on delivery. You can distribute it among the poor if you We also clean up your record, quash the outstanding warrant for your arrest. Pop Cosmo got 12 years. That was without flight to evade prosecution. We all know what happened to him in there. And if I say no? No. Don't say no. What good would you do anybody in prison? I don't believe this. You lied to us all these years. Even lied to us about your name. Sorry, okay? I'm sorry, fellas. I'm sorry. But when you're wanted by the feds, you don't exactly go around telling everybody about it, okay? Yeah, not everybody, Martin. We are your partners. You tell us. Fine. Exactly why was it you had to leave the CIA? We all have our little secrets, don't we? Look. You guys have a decision to make. This is not a test. The penetration is live. The target is unaware. Speaking of foreign intelligence service that might kill us to keep us out is not what we the do. The probable level of security is very low. But if you guys don't want to take that chance just to keep me out of jail, fine, I understand. Don't do it. Well, Bish, I can't speak for the other guys. But I'm in it for the money. I don't care if you go to jail. Me neither. I'm in. Uh, could we maybe just go back to the... They, they, they might kill us apart. Mother, if I thought that was likely to happen, I wouldn't bring this to you. But there is a risk. It pays $175,000. I'm in. You guys will be chalk outlines without me. All right. What do we need? Okay. We start with a very light surveillance, level three. First sign of babysitters, we back off. Now, this guy's giving a lecture tomorrow at UC. In the afternoon, I'm going to be there and check him out. Okay? Any questions? Okay, let's do it. For the lecture. Do you want to take whistle or do you want me to go in? Uh, no, no, that's... 
It's okay, I thought I'd ask Liz. Sort of an old friend. Did I say anything? You will. I'm here on business, Liz. Fisher, you don't have a business. You have a club. It's a boys' club. You have a little clubhouse club in your room. Secret handshake. Liz, I need your help. I will not be dragged back into your world. I have a new group of kids and children now, and I like the fact that they're under 30. Excuse me. There's a mathematician. Named Gunter Janik. You know him? I read him. Now go away. Well, he's giving a master lecture at 3 30 now. Well, I'm nice for him. Well, I buy you dinner after. I am not going out with you. This isn't a date, dummy. This is a scientific exploration, a tutorial. I need you. Explain it to me. They found me, Liz. The government found me. They offered me a deal. If I take their offer, they clear my record and I can get my name back. You and I are not getting back together. Hey, don't flatter yourself. Pick me up at three. Yes. While the number field sieve is the best method currently known, there exists an intriguing possibility for a far more elegant approach. Here we would find a space yes, cool. extensions, each abelian over the rationals and hence contained in a single cyclotomic field. Using the art and map, we might induce homomorphisms from the principal orders in each of these fields that can send... Have you seen anybody? Shh. These maps could then be used to combine splitting information from all the fields. This isn't just about large numbers. The area is about cryptography. This huh? You mean codes? I mean unbreakable. Gaussian proportions and allow us to acquire the solution in a dramatically more efficient manner. Now, I should emphasize that this such an approach is purely theoretical. So far, no one has been able to accomplish such constructions. Yet. And the numbers are so unbelievably big that all the computers in the world could not break them down. But maybe, just maybe, there's a shortcut. I bet you anything he's found it. If he has, you're in over your head. Get my coat. The numbers themselves may be our best tools. May be able to see things in other numbers that we can't. Martin. Martin, how wonderful to see you. Hey, Greg, how are you? Is it not fabulous? You think I can, in public, come and learn your scientist's new secrets? Alas, I did not understand one bit what he was talking about. Yeah, at least I, I... Goodness, can it be? Hmm. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Here's some bats. Right? She's dying to talk to you, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, here's some bats. Yeah, here's some bats. Mm. Hello, Greg. Yeah, here's some bats. And Martin. My heart leaps like a gazelle to see you back together again. Tell it to stop leaping. We are not back together. No. What a pity. Wait, I have a smashing idea. Martin! Martin! Kiev String Quartet plays at the consulate on Thursday night. You will be my guests. Really, Greg, I would not have repaid. <laughs> Martin, now that our countries are such good friends, perhaps you will finally be able to do a casual favor for me. Greg, you are shameless. <laughs> See you Thursday night. What? Uh, new title. Cultural attaché. I don't believe it. Mm. Last few years has been very confusing for people in my line of work. I bet. <laughs> I don't care what anybody says about the New World Order. I don't trust that guy. You great? Harmless. Let the number itself tell us. Well, excuse me. I don't see any work. You're gonna follow him, aren't you? Who is it? It's I... okay. I'll get a cab. Can I call you? Just be careful. Just got in the elevator, going up. We will be ready for him. How's the audio? Good. Mother's pretty close. He's just wearing four safety belts this time. What, no parachute? All righty. Entry and lights on. Describe it. Looks like a workroom. You got yourself a bench with a soldering gun, two spools of wire, and a magnifying lamp. Yeah. Sounds like you're making something. Then a desk. Mm -hmm. Telephone, lamp, answering machine. Sharp pencils, but no little black box. It's gotta be there somewhere. What's he doing? He's logging on the computer. Oh, this is good. He's going to type in his password, we're going to get a clear shot. Oh, Dr. Rishkoff, good evening. Hey, let's get an idea on Dr. Rishkoff. She was with him at the lecture this afternoon. She was trying to tell him something. Oh, he was making... No, you could do that in Mexico City. Mr. Richard, do you mind if I take a look? Carl. Oh. Grow up. Get out of the way, get out of... Oh, she's in the way. I don't believe this. I'm sorry. It's just I have 
where she doesn't block it. I'll blow it up. Hey, who's Ryskov? Dr. Elena Rishkov, visiting professor from Czechoslovakia, senior research fellow in astrophysics. Bingo. Seat type astronomy. like the H. We get H. Get next to the L. Do it again. H is next to the L. Again. Okay, that's definitely W G. Definitely not. No, that's a V. He's in the way. Fellas, Janice stole black box is on his desk between the pencil jar and the lamp. Uh, Whistler, I, I hate to tell you this, but you're blind. Play the tape back again. You can't even see anything. Don't look. Listen. Play it back. Got a service. What's he need an answering machine for? There's our little black box. Okay, boss. This LTX 71 concealable mic is part of the same system that NASA used. They fake the Apollo moon landings. Yeah, the astronauts broadcast around the world from a soundstage at Norton Air Force Base in San Bernardino, California. So, work for them. Shouldn't give us too many problems. Thanks. All righty. Well, you didn't have a delivery? I should have the invoice No right delivery? Here. Listen, I'm sorry. They didn't have Just anything uh, on record. Hold on hey. a second. I got the Did my wife drop the cake right? off for me? Cake. There's no cake. Surprise party from ours on the second floor. She was supposed to drop a cake off. I dropped it. Don't worry about it. Uh, there she is. Ladies, okay, you. Okay, well, it states right here very clearly that I have to deliver 36 boxes of liquid drink oh. to this here address. I don't care what that if says. You You're not on the list. You can't get in. I do have a problem with it. You can't get in. I well, might lose my job. Well, it's not my problem. Kid, not me, though, right? I can't reach my car. I can't reach my car. I can't reach my car. Wait, wait one minute. Is my car okay? We're late for the party to the second floor. Excuse me. Push the goddamn buzzer, will ya? Anybody remember how to defeat an electronic keypad? Uh-oh. Don't even joke about that, Martin. Those things are impossible. Think I'm joking? Looks like they just put it in. Oh, boy. Here, maybe this might help. An old buddy of mine who was in Desert Storm sent it to me. Of course, he was on the other side. Alright, alright. This might work. 
ya. Ya. Apa? Ya. Apa? Ya. 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 Oke. Okay. I'll give it a shot. Nothing is going to happen to you. Okay? Who are you? He's a PI. I'm a private investigator. I'm a private investigator. But why? Who hired you? Who hired you? Mrs. Janik. There is not Mrs. Janik. Uh, yeah? Uh, you got us stumped. Oh, yeah? Who do you think paid for your little love job to Mexico City? <gasps> that was good. Velma. Velma Janik. She lives in Montreal where she handles her family's real estate holdings. Vast real estate holdings. Farms, banks, shopping malls. Two shopping malls. She supports Gunter but figured he was cheating on her and that's why she hired me. Best of my dad, wait. I'll kill him. Oh, 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 no, 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 wait. Oh, no! Just, no, no, no. Get a hold of yourself, Dr. Weisko. Get a hold of yourself. Mm -mm. Now, what you gotta do is you gotta not tell him you know. <laughs> nope, we weren't here. We didn't talk. You don't know me. Oh. You don't know anything about a wife. Oh. You just give me one good reason why. All right, I'll give you a reason. Give you a really good reason. It's just what she would want you to do. It's just what she would want you to do. It's just what she wants you to do. I don't understand. Yeah, sometimes I don't understand myself. Here, look, I, I might lose my license for this. But my client is a vindictive, bitter woman. She's been withholding marital favors from Gunther for many, many years, and now she's out to ruin him. Uh, and she's using you to, to, to get to her. And she's using me to get to her, you. I know, I know that's confusing, but don't you see what's happening here? You and me, we're just pawns in this ugly little game. If you love him. If you love him. If you love him. If you really love him then just keep on loving him. And never let him know that, that you know what he thinks you don't know, that you know. You know? And give him head whenever he wants. Give him head. Help. Be a, be, be a beacon in his sad and lonely life. Can you do that for Gunner? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Now get out of here.
take it ahead. Be a beacon. <laughs> July 1, 1958, when the Air Force brought the space visitor to the White House for an interview with President Eisenhower. And Ike said, hey, look, give us your technology, we'll give you all the cow lips you want. So that's Honey, what cattle... don't listen to this man. He's certifiable. Your husband knows about cattle mutilations. He's ex-CIA. touch. He knows the government's been suppressing for years. Yeah. Understood. Understood. One thing I don't quite get, though, well, as you and Cosme are taking all of these chances, all these big chances, we were young. And there was a war on. It was a good way to meet girls. How come you didn't get caught? I went out for pizza. Then I went to Canada. I was lucky he wasn't. Did he ever forgive you? I hope so. He died in prison. So, what are you guys going to do with your share of the money? Don? Well, we have never been to Europe together. And we are going. My grave, Lisbon. Athens. Oh, and Scotland. And, and Tahiti. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Mother? Well, you know, I've never actually had a really cool car that I could fit comfortably into. So I think I'm going to buy me a Winnebago. The big kitchen, water bed, big kitchen. Carl? I'd like to have a deep relationship with a beautiful woman who knocks me the very first time I ask me. <laughs> I'm not getting paid that much, Carl. Well, you know, someone like this. Definitely not getting paid that much. Uh -oh. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Whistler? Uh, peace on earth, goodwill toward men. <laughs> right on. And women. All right. All right. Here, here. That's not a word. Yes, it is. It's scrunchy. Yeah. Scrunchy. Scrunchy. <laughs> scrunchy is, is not a word. A word. What Since when? Oh, please. That's not a word. <laughs> right now, your face is scrunchy. No, All right, we, we gotta yeah. take it as a word for the time being. Don't bow. Don't bow. I have. I didn't even think of it. I have. Carl? Yes? What does it say where this is? Hold on a second here. System out. System. All right. Carl, I need 25 minutes. Guys, I really think you should leave that thing alone. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to see something. Don't worry, Don. Uh, how do you spell it? S-E-T-E-C. C-T-E-C. Special extraterrestrial Earth encounter. Oh! <laughs> that was two, four, five. And 
She begins to go, and this one bull turns around and looks at me like right dead in my eyes. Can you take? What? Can you take this from me? I just love it when a man says that to me. See, take doesn't mean anything. Excuse me. Carl, can you get me uh, some cable and uh, the IO interface, please? Monterey's Coast. Does Monterey's Coast mean anything, you guys? No. No. Carl, get the diagnostics. How about my Socrates note? No. Stay in that quadrant. It's kind of like the same thing. Yeah, try another quadrant. Uh, oh. Oh, what was that? Go back one. Fish, I think you better come over here. Carl, you got your little black book? Yes. Give me the number for something impossible to access. What about this? Federal Reserve Transfer Node, Culpeper, Virginia. Yeah, it sure is a lot. 900 billion a day goes through there. That'll do. Punch it in. Shut down the Federal Reserve. 
systems are faced with mathematical problems so complex they cannot be solved without a key. Janet must have figured out a way to solve those problems without the key, and he hardwired it into that chip. Anybody want to crash a couple of passenger jets? I said turn it off. Turn it off! So it's a code breaker. No. It's the code breaker. No more secrets. Honey, you and Melissa get your things. <laughs> Between now and then, we are going to institute some security around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is where I get off. Nice to see you again, guys. I'm out of here. Don't take this personally, Liz. But you were the only one who knew Martin's secret. Somebody talked. So make yourself comfortable. We're all staying right here tonight. No. I'm getting my bag. And I'm leaving. So relax, Chris. I'll relax when we get that damn thing out of here. Until then, you stay. What? There isn't a government on this planet that wouldn't kill us all for that thing. Sorry. I see. Carl, did you get the alarm? Mother, lock everything Just down. Doors and windows. Then kill the lights. You bet. Thank you for the trust, fellas. I really enjoyed sleeping with all you guys. Take care. My way. Thank you. I hope they handle it. 
Morning. Hi. Any problems? Nope. Want a cappuccino? No. She's old. Tell me you won't do it because I've got to have it. Damn it, I need to know, and I need to know now. Hey guys, interesting. That federal building has been scheduled for demolition since August. It housed the Federal Trade Commission, Department of Agriculture. It's been vacant for a month. The NSA never had an office in San Francisco. Their West Coast operations are right out of Los Angeles. Oh, God. Yeah, thanks. Janice Gratis from the NSA. How could you be so goddamn stupid? Two guys show up. Say they have government and you just buy it. They probably were government. Just not ours.
Everybody pack up whatever you can. This place isn't safe. What do you think you're doing? Going to a concert. <laughs> Give me back Janik's box, Greg. I don't have it. No, you must believe me. No. You used me. You set me up, Greg. No, I do not believe you. We had nothing to do with this Janik business. Not for lack of trying, mind you. Your codes are entirely different from ours. We've never had any luck in breaking them. So Lord knows I wanted that box. But we did not take it. And who did? But I will tell you now, I cannot tell you in this building. Do you understand? Martin. You must trust me. Him? No. Him? No. Well, yeah, you can't even ask Him? No. I'm afraid these books are not as current as they used to be. You guys still keep tabs on all our agents. These are just the ones we thought we could turn. You know, sexual problems. Financial problems. Then we had financial trouble. That's him. The older guy. A loathsome man named Buddy DeVries. A.K.A. Buddy Weber, Buddy Wallace. Wallace. That's him. Mm. We tried to recruit him in 83. Drinking problem, married three times. Left the NSA four years ago. Oh, my. What? What? You disappeared once before, my friend. I suggest you do it again. Why? Who is he working for? Your FBI is such a pain in the ass. Don't even be tears. You bled enough. Who's he working for? Martin, I can offer you asylum inside this car. Technically, it's part of the consulate. Do you wish our protection? What? Who is Wallace working for? <laughs> Mr. Bishop? My name is Special Agent Bestrop, FBI. Please, step out of the vehicle. Do you wish our protection? Mr. Bishop, get out of the vehicle now. You won't know who to trust. Mr. Bishop, step over here, please. Hands on the ball, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Miss Lord? Yes. Too many secrets. on up. Try aspirin. I'm sorry if he hurt you. I'm afraid Boris doesn't like you very much. Checked for rabies. Rabies occurs only in warm blooded animals. Anyway, I couldn't have you talking to the Russians. Five years ago, yes, we could trust them not to go running to the FBI, or if they did, we could trust the FBI not to believe them today. We can't trust anybody. What the hell's going on here? Tell us about what? What happened? The world changed on us, Marty. Without our help. What happened? There I was in prison. And one day I helped a couple of nice older gentlemen make some free telephone calls. They turn out to be let us say, good family now. Organized crime? 
Don't kick yourself. It's not that organized. Anyway, they arranged for me to get an early release from my unfortunate incarceration, and I begin to perform a variety of services. The starters, I reorganized their entire financial operation. Budgets, payroll, money laundering. You name it. And the whole network is protected by a very powerful encryption system, so the government cannot read it. But if the feds get Janix box? Disaster. Therefore, we must have it. To protect the organization? Yes. No, I don't buy it. I know you. God, it's good to see you. Contractors had it, noble causes did not. Politicians are bought and sold like so much chattel. Our problems multiply. Pollution, crime, drugs, poverty, disease, hunger, despair. We throw gobs of money at them. Problems always get worse. Why is that? Because money's most powerful ability is to allow bad people to continue doing bad things at the expense of those who don't have it. I agree. Now, who did you say you were working for? Oh, that's just my day job. Listen, when I was in prison, I learned that everything in this world, including money, operates not on reality, but the perception of reality. How is it? People think a bank might be financially shaky. Consequence, people start to withdraw their money. Result, pretty soon it is financially shaky. Conclusion make banks fail. I've already done that. Maybe you've heard about a few. Think bigger. Stock market? Yes. Currency market? Yes. Commodities market? Yes. Small countries? I might even be able to crash the whole damn system. Destroy all records of ownership. Think of it, Marty. No more rich people, no more poor people. Everybody's the same. Isn't that what we said we always wanted? Because you haven't got crazy, have you? Have you? Who else is going to change the world, Marty? Greenpeace? <laughs> you are crazy. Retrieve your fingerprints from the gun that killed a Russian consular officer. The following day, those prints will be run through an FBI computer. And they will come up with a name. Martin Bryce. My old and good friend who promised me we would not get in trouble and who I might add did not. Then they will check this database in Washington, D.C., which I'm now able to access thanks to you. Of course. No one knows where Martin Bryce is, do they? But what if this indicated an alias? Don't. Don't do it, cuz. Pain. Try prison. Ciao.
Oh no, not the head. Just relax. No more secrets, Marty. I've had a bad night. Really? You look terrific. You look awful. Well, I should think so, considering what I've been through. What happened? You tell me. Oh, you got hit over the head twice and got thrown out of a speeding car. Mm -hmm. paper said that Greg was killed. I called your number and someone else answered. I didn't recognize the voice. I can't do this alone. It says the fingerprints found in the embassy car match those taken from the office of a government researcher found murdered earlier this week in Palo Alto. The connection was made after a Bay Area radio station received an anonymous tip linking the two killings. Yeah, I'll bet it was More bad news for the nation. All right. It's time we call the authorities. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> Now that we're accessories to espionage and murder. All the more reason to turn ourselves in now while we can still cut a deal. With what? We got bupkis. We turn ourselves in now, they'll give us 20 years in the electric chair. You think I like it? God damn it, I've got a family. But we have no other choice. Yes, we do. We make the call. But we make it our way. Unload the van. We got these van wagons here, Chris. What do you want them? Thanks. Nice apartment. I'm going to bounce this call through nine different relay stations throughout the world and off two satellites. It'll be the hardest trace they've ever heard. Now, this will measure stress in the voice of the person on the other end of the line. Not as accurate as a polygraph, but for today's purposes, it'll do. Unbelievable. Let's do it. National Security Agency, Director of Operations, please. What extension, please? Uh, I'm sorry, I forget the number. Uh, could I please have Director of Operations? It's very important. What extension, please? Try research. 
Give me research. It's an emergency. I need an extension or a name. SeaTech Astronomy. I started the trace. Where is this, please? It's my dime. I'll ask the questions. Who are you? Well, let's say my name is Mr. Abbott. True. They made it the second life. Mr. Abbott, are you interested in Sea Tech astronomy? I'm interested in all kinds of astronomy. They've got the satellite in Tokyo. These guys are good. I need to know if you're someone who can make a deal. Go on. Can you deal? Yes. Yeah. They're across transcom. You've got about 20 seconds, Bish. If I come in with what I know, can you guarantee my safety? Do you have the item? No. 15 seconds. Can you guarantee my safety? Where is the item? Can you guarantee my safety? Five seconds. Yes, I can guarantee your safety. Bitch, he's lying. Hang up, they've almost got us. He's lying. Hang up, fish. He's lying, he's lying. Hang up. Gotta be a way to cut a deal with those guys. Too late. If we had the box, yes. Without it, no. So let's get this freaking thing. I don't know where it is, remember? What did it sound like? You have no idea at all where they took you. No. They threw me in a trunk, drove around in circles. It could be 100 miles away. It could be next door. It could be underground. It could be in a sky rise. Forget it. Fish, what did it sound like? What? The road. When you were in the trunk, what, what did the road sound like? Oh, I don't know. Highway, a regular highway. Well, did, did you go over any speed bumps? Uh, gravel? Uh, how about a bridge? Bridge. Yeah. Four bridges in the Bay Area. Was the Golden Gate fogged in last night? Yes. Did you hear a foghorn? No. Scratch the golden gate. Now leave three. What did it sound like? Did you go through a tunnel in the middle? I'm not. No. Scratch the bay. Well, that leaves two. San Mateo and Dunbarton. What did it sound like? Lower. There was a recurring sound, like scenes in the concrete. The further part. Sounded, it sounded like a cocktail party. It was chattering. It was right at the end. Great. 
Now we got to look for a cocktail party on the other side of the railroad track. Wait, Carl. Okay. Let's check to where the railroad tracks are. Crescent! Mother, stay on Crescent. Get off the reservoir. Okay. There's a cocktail party at the reservoir. Um, yeah. Yeah. Very good, Bish. Remind me to make you an honorary blind person. Great. Where's this road go? Nowhere. Looks like it ends right around that hill. What's behind the hill? Nothing. It's private property. Private. Get it. It's a toy company. Toy company, my ass. It's laser fencing. There's high voltage on the perimeter. The whole building says go away. It's Cosmo, I know it. The toy company's up front. Mother, get the directional. Carl, get the video. Let's go. Second floor, Northwest 2. That's a bathroom. Second floor, Northwest 3. Uh, that's an emergency exit. How do you know? I can hear the emergency floodlight batteries recharging. Oh, right there. Chris, what's this mean? My voice is my passport, verify me. Some sort of voice print ID. I'll check it out. What am I listening to now, Mother? Third floor, southwest corner. Oh, it's bursting with ultrasonic. I've never heard sensors that powerful before. Bish, someone is very serious about keeping people out of that room. Yeah. Okay. okay, there's the corner room with the motion detectors Whistler heard. That's Cosmo's office. I saw the sensors. They keep the lights on all night, so we have to assume the sensors are on, too. It won't be easy getting in there. Okay, run this on ahead and let's figure out who works next door. It's fascinating what 50 bucks can get you at the county recorder's office. What do you got? Playtronics corporate headquarters. The complete blueprints. Not bad. Not bad, Carl. No, thanks. Where'd you get the 50 bucks? Took it from mother's wallet. Good. No, Mom, today's not a good day to come over. No. Hey, what do you got here? It's called a man trap. I borrowed this demo from the manufacturer. It's a uh, digital voice recognition monitor hooked up to an access to it. NSA uses the same technology to keep people out of restricted areas at Fort Meade. Card? Now speak right into this box. Hi. My name is Martin Bishop. My voice is my passport. Verify me. And you can't pass through unless your voice print matches the one encoded on the card. So we need someone's card. And their voice. Can we beat this with tape? Has to be up close and personal. 
Otherwise, you'll be caught in a steel reinforced booth while the guards with the shotguns are called. Oh, that's great. Really? What about motion detector? I'm picking one up this afternoon. That makes beating this look easy. Hey, Bish. I think we found our guy. Okay, I've blown up the image a little. Here's the room next to Cosmos. Now it's the end of the day. Watch who comes out. Let me zoom in on the front door. A lady in a green skirt. And this guy with the cap. Nobody comes out for another 18 minutes. So it's one of those two. Right. Now here's the next evening. Again. The office next to Cosmos. Lights go out. The guy in the cab. Anybody else? Nobody else comes out for 22 minutes. That's who works next door. Good. Okay, we'll use his office to get into Cosmos. Can we get plates? Let me see. Sending in. Another bump. Enhancing. There's your plate. 180 IQ. All right, Carl, let's do this guy. His name is Werner Brandis. Single, 6'1", 174 pounds, must wear glasses to drive, no outstanding tickets or waters. He leaves work between 6 and 7 every night, takes the same route home, he obeys the speed limit, comes to a complete stop at every stop sign, and signals when he changes lanes. He's a very safe driver. $750 limit on his visa, pays his bills, no bad debts, no bond checks, no registered firearms, member of International Microchip Designers Association, and chairman of the social committee. Great. The world's most boring human. How the hell are we going to get close enough to record him? Oh, mother! Sorry, Liz. Standard procedure. Trash from the guy's house. And thank you for bringing it into mine. Here, let's see here. Phone bill, no long distance. Club Med brochure. I think it's stuck to a very mantle of conscience. Here we go. Dear Com Computator, welcome to the world of automated compatibility. He's a computer dater. I love it. Let's get him a date. What was the name of that gal that we did the music on the serial company sync last year? Sandy Cricket? Yeah. I get it. All right, a top. How about uh, Barbara? She, she was cute. Yeah, but she'd never do it. She regards this work as juvenile. That's why she divorced me. How about your friend, Jesse? Yeah, she's buff. Fellas, fellas, look at this man's trash. He's not looking for buff. The nicest garbage I've ever seen. The man who folded this tube of crest is looking for someone meticulous, refined. Anal. I tell the team, team, Leroy Brown, the best man in the whole downtown, tell me in the mountain south, see the year we're tossing a wall. Are you ready for the dim sum bar? Oh, I'm not really in any hurry. All right, I'll be right back. Thank you. 
you pronounce it. This is what's in Cosmo's office. Best motion sensor on the market. Watch this. Also responds to thermal differentials. Does this have a happy ending? Oh, yeah. We can wrap you in a full body suit of neoprene heat-resistant rubber, or we can raise the temperature in Cosmo's office to 98.6 degrees, which is probably what we'll have to do because the neoprene would suffocate you. Either way, you've got a top speed of two inches per second. Any faster than that? And uh, big guys with guns, but you'll probably do fine. Since when am I the one? The same uh, model answering machine that Janik used for the shell of his box. Now that's what you'll be carrying across the floor at two inches per second. I got that for you because I figured you'd, you know, just want to practice. Remember to go real slow. Slow. You get all the fun stuff. So, what about travel? Where do you like to go? Europe? Mexico? Uh, I don't know. I've never been out of the country. Look, mm. I think they want us to leave. Sit down, Mark. <laughs> oh, talk to me. You know what? I really love the sound of your voice. Really? I always thought it was kind of nasal and pinched. Oh, no, not at all. It's lovely. Mm. And um, there's this one word. I've always loved the sound of this word. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no, you wouldn't. No, no I, I would. I, I would. What? Never mind. What? No. Please. Oh, what? All right. <laughs> I would really like to hear you say the word passport. Passport? <laughs> you know, you're right, we ought to leave. Uh, Doris? Would you like to have breakfast with me? Sure, fine. Shall I phone you or nudge you? Jack, please. Is that the garden? I thought they already left. I guess not. May I use your John, please?
Uh, listen, a few minutes ago, a godly king. Skip it, I see him. Okay, fellas, I'm out of here. Carl, have a nice ride. I'm through pounding these breasts. Uh. <laughs> you know, the best thing about this meal, besides it's absolutely fabulous, it is it only has 400 calories. Oh, great. You know, I'm very concerned about what we eat. You are. What would you say? Well, what would you say is the ideal diet? Well, I should uh, eat better too, Mommy, but you know how many biscuits well, go? Let's see, the ideal diet? Take a look at the bottom of a monkey cage. Uh, you have, uh, can someone educate your door? I'm not expecting anyone. No. <laughs> Nobody there. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all alone. <laughs> oh. I just closed the window. It's okay now. It's true, I read that once. You have, fruit, you have fruit, you have greens, you, you... Good evening, Playtronics. Cattle mutilations are up. Don't. Sorry.
There's a three-foot area in the corner just outside the sensor's range. Good. Hold on. Whistler? Carl, how's the weather? 98.6 and holding. Beauty. We got body damp crease. Go. Once again, I am so sorry about dinner. No, it was really delicious. No, no. I overcooked the carrots. No, I like them. They're really squishy like that. That's cute. Oh, oh. Watch. Watch this. <laughs> Play dead. <laughs> I designed the voice recognition chip. What a thing to do. Could I just make a quick phone call? Sure. Uh, it's in the bedroom. Um, upstairs? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, go upstairs, and, and then you walk straight forward. <laughs> and, and the first one is a closet. Oh, pooch. Look what you've done to Doris's purse. Say we go for a ride, Doris. I don't believe. Now what do you say? The NSA killed Kennedy? No, they shot him, but they didn't kill him. He's still alive. That's it. I've had it. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You just do your job. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Okay, fine. It was the same people who framed Pete Rose. Oh, no, we're almost there. Almost there. Chris, get it. No, no, no. Chris, go get it. Warner just pulled up. He's got Liz with him. Martin? I think you better hurry. We have a problem.
like in the day. Sorry to have troubled you, Miss. Not as sorry as I am, Winner. I'm letting her go. We'll call you a cab. Thank you. This is my last computer day. Wait. Computer matched her with him? I don't think so. Marty. Why is it so hot in here? Six guards in the front lobby, four in the south corridor, second floor, five upstairs north. Guards in the boiler room. Oh, God. Carl, listen carefully. You've got trouble. Heating ducts over the furnace. You'll be all right. Just find the heating ducts above the furnace. That'll get them to the elevator. That'll lead you to the elevator, Chase. Martin, there's a fire escape at the end of the north corridor. You'll have to break through a couple of firewalls. That happened to yourself. No, go directly north. Go directly north, about 30 well, yards. Once you're there, let me know. Blue team, with the southwest corridor one. Green team, secure north corridor three. Be in a cross, Green White Chris. team, secure all exits. Break through. <laughs> Three over the corridor. I think it's a dead end. Don't move. And don't worry, we'll get you out of there. Whisper, we got guards in every stairwell. Can you hear if there's any? Oh no. What? Don't say oh no. This is Wallace. I'm in Northeast 3. Can you check on us? Martin, we lost. Do you read me?
I know you are in the building, and I know you can hear me. friendship had meant anything to you at all, that's the way you should have left it. But you always had to be the one to win, didn't you? You were the one who got away with things while I never did. You always had to get the girl. So I never did. At least not until now. She's lovely, Marty. Please. Marty, please bring me the box. I cannot kill you. I cannot kill you. You have to trust me. Guys, I'm going in. You hear me, Carl? Yes. So you have my box. We have a deal. Right? Wait a second. Wait a minute. God damn it, you give me your word. I cannot kill my friend. Kill my friend. You son of a bitch. You didn't really think we were gonna let you go, did you? You didn't really think I was gonna let you have this box, did you? What? Now. Now? What are you talking about now? Now! Damn right now. Carl, now! <laughs> Guys, go get out of here. Yeah. Here. Grace, we're on the roof. There's a fire escape on the 
north side. Is it clear? Yes, clear. Where are you? On a hill overlooking the northeast corner of the parking lot. There. Beautiful. Come and get us. Hurry up. We've only got a few minutes before anybody knows we're gone. Come in and get you. Your hands where I can see him and step out of the van. You too, midnight. Whistler, you gotta do it. Do what? You gotta drive. I'll talk you through it. Now hurry. You drive what? about 30 yards behind you. Put it reverse and floor it. Did I ever tell you why I had to leave the CIA? No. Uh, what's reverse? Uh, one down. My temper. <laughs> Motherfuckers mess with me, I'll split your head! Ah, uh, Grease. Where's Whistler going? Uh, fish? I'm going backwards. Doing fine, doing fine. <laughs> now, hit the brakes, now! Okay, Whistler, put the gear shift down two notches. Down two notches. Turn left, floor it. No, no, I'm, I'm going forward. No, but, yeah, straight now, straight now. Oh, what was that? Okay, keep coming. Oh god, I'm driving, I'm driving. <laughs> seconds and stop. Oh, I think I'll stop right here. Step away from the ladder. You 
give me the box right now, or I will kill you right now. No. <laughs> Just give me the box, Marty. I thought you couldn't kill your friend, Cos. I missed on purpose. Now give me the box. Take the goddamn thing. I don't want it. You win, I lose. That's what you want, isn't it? Say it. Say it. Yes! I'm sorry, cuz. You could have shared this with me. I know. You could have had the power. I don't want it. Don't you know the places we can go with this? Yeah, I do. There's nobody there. Exactly. The world isn't run by weapons anymore, or energy, or money. It's run by little ones and zeros, little bits of data. It's all just electrons. I don't care. I don't expect other people to understand this, but I do expect you to understand this. We started this journey together. It wasn't a journey, Cos. It was a prank. There's a war out there, old friend. A world war. And it's not about who's got the most bullets. It's about who controls the information. What we see and hear, how we work, what we think, it's all about the information. If I were you, I'd destroy that thing. Don't go. Don't go. You do what you have to do, Cos. But if you want to stop me, you'll have to pull the trigger. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe tomorrow's Thursday. <sighs> Not one word. Okay, all of you, step over here. Security Agency. We spoke on the phone. I believe you have something that belongs to me. It's interesting, don't you think, you guys, that the NSA is here? I thought the FBI was supposed to do this kind of thing. Absolutely. This is outside the NSA's jurisdiction. Unless the NSA didn't want anybody to know about Janik's little black box. I keep thinking about something Greg told me. He said that our codes were based on an entirely different system than the Russian codes. So this box really wouldn't work on them. The only thing it'd really be good for is spying on Americans. Oh, sure, with a box like that, they could read the FBI's mail. Or the CIA's. Or the White House's. 
No wonder they don't want to share with the other children. What do you want, Mr. Bishop? Clear up my record. Get out of my life. I don't have much choice, do I? Not unless you want to read about it in Newsweek. Deal. The box. Not so fast. I want a Winnebago. What? Fully equipped. Big kitchen, waterbed, AM, FM, CD, microwave. This is not a car dealership, pal. He wants a Winnebago. All right, a Winnebago. Thank you. Burgundy interior. Now the box. <coughs> Uh, I have never taken my wife to Europe. I'm sorry to hear it. Give me the box. You will buy me two round-trip first-class tickets to Athens, Lisbon, Madrid, and Scotland. Don't, don't forget Tahiti. And Tahiti. Tahiti is not in Europe. Excuse me. When you get the box, then you give us geography lessons. Until then, this man goes to Tahiti. Fine. Tahiti. Carl? The young lady with the Uzi. She single. All right. Yeah, Carl. Excuse us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the brass ring. I just want a telephone number. How about a lunch? You can chaperone. No, I will not do this. Hey, Abby, Abby, come on. Now, the FBI had given twins. No! Wait a second. You can have anything you want, and you're asking for my phone number. Yes. Two seven three nine one six four. Eric code four one five. I'm Carl. I'm Mary. I'm going to be sick. Are we done here? No, not yet. Whistler. I want peace on earth and goodwill toward men. Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? I want peace on earth and goodwill toward men. We are the United States government. We don't do that sort of thing. Just gonna have to try. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. That's all I ask. How about you? What do you want? Oh, uh, I'm fine. May I have the box? You know it doesn't work. It never did. That's not important, is it? What's really important is that none of this ever happened. This box doesn't exist. I never saw it before. Remember that. All you did was say it was broken. Can't they still just hook it up and do terrible things with it? Nope. In a surprise announcement, the Republican National Committee has revealed it is bankrupt. A spokesman for the party said they had plenty of money in their accounts last week, but today they just don't know where the money has gone. But not everybody's going begging. 
Amnesty International, Greenpeace, and the United Negro College Fund announced record earnings this week, due mostly to large anonymous donations.